a refractometer measures in degrees bricks, and bricks um, like Fahrenheit and Celsius and um, Richter was a dude, right? People know about these 1800s European men that figured something out, got something named after them. You've heard about a lot of them. Kelvin, right? There's a lot of them. And Bricks was one of them. Bricks, I think, was a chemist. Celsius. Celsius, yep, Fahrenheit. Um, yeah, absolutely. Richter. Uh, there's, a, there's a whole, all the scales we have, basically, that are named after European 1800s guys. Um, not all of them, but a lot of them. Um, so, Bricks was one of those guys. Bricks won the award that was put out by the German vintners. The German vintners, the guys that made wine in Germany in the 1830s, had this issue, and that was that they were making wine with their grapes and putting it in the barrels, and putting the barrels in the catacombs, and taking the catacombs out of the barrels 20 years later and finding vinegar. And they're like, this is a real pain in my butt because <laughs> those barrels are hard to build, and there's not so much space in the catacomb, and it's, a, you know, I'd rather just put the wine into the barrels, into the catacombs, it's going to be wine in 20 years, not the stuff that's going to be vinegar. Everybody understands the, the, the concept here. Um, and they had no way of telling. It was a crapshoot. I don't know. We'll put it all in there. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it won't. And they said, if somebody could tell us how to figure out which grape juice will make wine and which grape juice will make vinegar, we'll give them a whole bunch of money. Bricks figured it out. Bricks figured out that it was the specific gravity of the juice. The denser the juice, the more viscous, the heavier the juice. Like I said, some barrels of uh, bushels of corn weigh 62 pounds and some bushels of corn weigh 48 pounds. So some... You know, cups of grape juice will weigh one pound two ounces, and some cups of grape juice will weigh one pound one ounce. Um, and so it's, it, it has to do with that viscosity, the specific gravity, the density of the juice, the quality of the wine. So that was, that was Brix's you know, realization, and the Brix chart, uh, the Brix scale, is named after Brix. And so what a Brix scale does is tell you how much light bends when it passes through the fluid. So um, what you have to do is you have to get a drop of juice out of a cucumber or a carrot or a potato or an apple um, to get a reading. If you want to be in your, I'm not sure which one of it is. Which one's the logical side? The left brain or the right brain? None. None. Goes to show. <laughs> Whichever the logical side is, the non-intuitive side, the left brain or right brain, I can't remember which one it is. If you want a number for assessing this carrot versus that carrot, which is how we work in today's day and age with numbers and scales, then you need a baseline. And so what happens is if you put your hand in a bathtub full of water or a pond, it looks like it bends. If you put it in the ocean, it looks like it bends more because the salt in the water causes the light to bend more when it passes through it. Okay, nothing complicated about that? So all a refractometer is doing is measuring the bend of the light when it passes through the fluid. So one bricks... The amount that's called one bricks is the amount that light bends when it passes through a 1% sucrose solution. You take water, you add 1% sucrose, that bend is called one bricks. You add 10% sucrose solution, that's called 10 bricks. So that's the calibration. That's how the brick scale is designed, like Celsius is, you know, 1% of the difference between frozen water and, and steam. Right? That's, what, that's, the, that's the gradation for Celsius. But that's not necessarily what you're measuring is the temperature of water. You're measuring the temperature of the air or a number of other things. So um, the point I want to make here and make it categorically and clearly and definitively, this is one of my few pet peeves, is that people think that BRICS is measuring sugar. BRICS does not measure sugar. BRICS measures the bend of the light. So, so I've got a pair of modified vice grips. They've got you know, two pieces of metal welded on them. The farmer in Maine makes these for us. And you can get a drop of juice out of anything with these, right? Some Carrot, than potato, you know, leek leaf, apple leaf, all kinds of things you could know. Otherwise, have a really hard time getting a drop of juice out of. Get a drop of juice out of. So there's one drop of juice. It's getting a little bit late in the yeah, day, but we're probably still going to reading. We have a three and three quarters, plus or minus. <clears throat> We've got a chart. <laughs> chart here for cucumber. Um, where's cucumber? Four is poor, six is yep. average, eight is good, oh. and twelve is excellent. Wow. Who made the chart? Um, it was uh, codified by a guy named Dr. Kerry Reeves. Um, it's, it's, yeah, so um, this is a way we can empirically assess the quality of crops.